Salah, daily prayer or worship, from Arabic slat, place. Sluit salawat, also called salat and namaz from Persian, namaz is one of the five pillars in the faith of Islam and an obligatory religious duty for every Muslim. It is a physical, mental, and spiritual act of worship that is observed five times every day at prescribed times. When they do this, they must face Mecca facing the direction on Qibla. In this ritual, the worshipper starts standing, bows, prostrates himself, and concludes while sitting on the ground. During each posture, the worshipper recites or reads certain verses, phrases and prayers. The word, Salah, is commonly translated as, ritual. Given how that word is generally used in English this can be misleading, as the word, prayer, is also used to translate a different word, dua, a reverent petition made to God. Salah may be better translated as, divine worship as it is primarily worship rather than petition. Salah is preceded by ritual ablution. Salah consists of the repetition of a unit called a rak'ah place. Raka'at consisting of prescribed actions and words. The number of obligatory fard raka'at varies from two to four according to the time of day or other circumstances such as Friday congregational worship, which has two rockets. Prayer is obligatory for all Muslims except those who are prepubescent, are menstruating, or are experiencing bleeding in the 40 days after childbirth. Terminology Salah Salah SL slat in Arabic means to pray or bless. In its English usage, the reference of the word is almost always confined to the formal, obligatory prayers described in this article. Translating salah as communication is not usually considered precise enough, as communication can indicate several different ways of relating to God. Personal communication or supplication is called du Arabic, dua literally, invocation. In Islamic usage, Muslims themselves use several terms to refer to salah depending on their language or culture. In many parts of the world, including many non-Arab countries, the Arabic term salat or salah is used. The other major term is the Persian word namaz, namaz used by speakers of the Indo-Iranian languages e.g., Persian, Kurdish, Urdu, Silheti, Balochi, Bengali, Hindi, as well as Turkish, Russian, Chinese, Bosnian and Albanian. In North Caucasian languages, the term is Lamaz, Lamaz in Chechen, Chak, Kak in Lak and Kak in Avar. In Malaysia, the term Solat is used, as well as a local term Sembayang means, communication, literally from the word Semba, worship and Hyang, God or deity is used too. Indonesia uses the term Shalat. Salah in the Quran The word of salat is used about 90 times. As well, words connected to salat, such as, mosque, wudu, dhikr, etc., are used around 900 times. In other words, approximately one-sixth of Quranic verses belong to salat. This includes, "...surely my prayer and my sacrifice and my life and my death are all for Allah." I am Allah, there is no God but I, therefore serve me and keep up prayer for my remembrance. At least four forms of salat are introduced in the Quran. First, in order to glorify God's servants, God, and the angels practice the salat. Secondly, salah is acted by all beings in the heavens and the earth to the expression of universal Islam. Every voluntary Muslim performs it to reveals that it is the particular forms of worship belong to all the prophets. Lastly, salat is described as the second pillar of Islam and a little defined what components includes. Topic. Purpose and importance The main purpose of Salah is to act as a person's communication with God. All beings are not able to see him but Salat provides a situation to ask and thank him because of blessings. Topic. Conditions 
Conditions for Salah are classified in two main categories, conditions that make Salah invalid and some that make Salah acceptable. If worshipper ignores following conditions, his Salah is invalid. Facing the Qibla, with the chest facing the direction of the Kaaba. The ill and the old are allowed leniency with posture. Having the ritual purity wudu, tayamum, gusl, Being sane and able to distinguish between right and wrong. Salah is invalid if performed in the pathway of people, unless if an stationary object is placed in front, if it will obstruct the people's way, in a graveyard or disrespectable places, on land which has been taken by force. Covering the aura. Laughing and speaking, any extra and unnecessary movements during the Salah. Breaking wind. Burping loudly in such a way that it disturbs other worshippers. Reading the necessary surahs or words too loudly in a way which disturbs other worshippers the condition for Salah to be accepted Cleanness from impurity and dirt, women are not allowed to pray during their menses and for a period after childbirth Covering of the whole body To pray within the time determined for each Salah Components <laughs> <laughs> Each salah is made up of repeating units or cycles called rockets which includes a number of specific movements and the recitation of a certain amount of Quranic text and various traditional formulas, all in Arabic. The number of rockets for the five daily occasions of obligatory worship can be found below. One form of performing a raka is given below. On minor details, there are different views in different schools of thought, but the major elements are universally agreed upon. People who find it physically difficult can perform salah in a way suitable for them. Intention Saying intention is the first act in prayer. For this, Muslim stands with raised and open hands. Palms should be turned forward and held at ear level with thumbs placed behind the earlobes. As an example he can say that I intend to offer four rockets of the Al-Zur prayer, then he says Allahu Akbar and puts his hands inside of the body. <laughs> Standing If this is the first rakah then prayer is commenced by the saying of the takbir, which is Allahu Akbar transliteration, Allahu Akbar, meaning Allah is greater, greatest. The hands are raised to the shoulders with palms facing the front, i.e., Qibla. This is done before, with or after saying the takbir. Both arms are placed on either the chest or above the navel. If this is the first rakat, a supplication praising Allah is said such as Subhanaka Aluma Wabahamdika Watabaraka Ismuka Wataali Jaduka Wala Al Garika meaning glorified be you, all praise is yours, perfect is your name, most high is your majesty and greatness. None has the right to be worshipped but you, the only one God, subhanaka lahuma, wa bai hamdika, wa tabaraka smukka, wa ta ala jataka, wa la laha gayaruk. The recitation of the Quran begins by asking refuge with God from the accursed devil by reciting Audu bayali mina al shawaitina al rajimi. A yudu by lahi mina s satani ar rajim. Surah al Fatiha is recited. For the first or second rakat only, the recitation of al Fatiha is followed with a recitation from any other surah from the Quran of choice. The customary practice is reciting the ayahs in the order found in the Quran. The takbir is repeated and the hands are raised as previously described, and the next position, bowing or ruku, begins. Topic. Bowing ruku. The palms are placed on the knees. Ideally, fingers are spaced out, the upper body should make a 90 degrees angle with the lower body. Some of many types of remembrances of God are recited for this situation such as Svan Arbi Alzim transliteration Subhana Rabbi El Azim, meaning, Glorified be Allah, the Tremendous, three times or more. Second standing 
Itidal is the standing again after ruku. The back is straightened, and the hands are raised as in takbir as mentioned before not raised in Hanafi and Maliki schools while saying sm al lmn hmdh transliteration samia allahu li man hamidahu, meaning, God listens and responds to the one who praises him. Some of many praises to God are said for this situation such as arbiene elak almd transliteration rabana laka al hamd, meaning, O Lord, all praise is for you. The takbir is said and the hands can be raised as mentioned before as the next position not raised in Hanafi and Maliki schools. Topic: <inaudible> Prostration. Each raka contains two prostrations. During the prostration, the forehead and nose are placed on the ground along with the knees, palms and toes. Some of many types of remembrances of God are recited for this situation such as Svan Arbi Alali Wibhmdh transliteration Subana Rabbi Al Allah wa bi hamdihi meaning, Glorified be my God, the Highest, three times or more. The takbir is repeated and the hands can be raised as mentioned before not raised in Hanafi and Maliki schools while the next position, kneeling, begins. Topic. Sitting The person performing the prayer sits between the two prostrations. Topic. Second prostration Second prostrations are done exactly like the first time. The head is raised and the takbir is repeated, and the hands can be raised as mentioned before not raised in Hanafi and Maliki schools. For every second and last rakat, only you would go to the sitting position again. Otherwise, the standing position begins again for the start of a new rakat. Second sitting If this is the second rakah, sitting is done as before. If this is not part of the second rakah, then the left thigh is leaned against the ground, and both feet are protruding from the right side with the right foot either upright or along the ground. The left palm leans on the left knee. The right index finger is pointed towards the Qibla. The Tashahud is recited. Greetings on Muhammad, called the As-Salatu Allah and Nabi are recited. If this is not the last rakah, a new rakah begins by standing up again with the takbir and the hands can be raised as mentioned before. Taslam If this is the last rakah, the greetings of taslam are said to the right such as al-slam lim warped al transliteration, as salamu alaykum wa rahmatu law, meaning peace and God's mercy be upon you." And then similarly to the left, the taslam brings the salah to an end. Takbir saying Allah Akbar, God is greater. Every movement from one position to another is accompanied by the takbir except the standing between the ruku and sujud, and the ending which has a derivation of the Muslim greeting is salamu alaykum. <laughs> Differences in practice Muslims believe that Muhammad practiced, taught, and disseminated the worship ritual in the whole community of Muslims and made it part of their life. The practice has, therefore, been concurrently and perpetually practiced by the community in each of the generations. The authority for the basic forms of the Salah is neither the Hadiths nor the Quran, but rather the consensus of Muslims. This is not inconsistent with another fact that Muslims have shown diversity in their practice since the earliest days, so the Salah practiced by one Muslim may differ from another's in minor details. In some cases, the Hadith suggests some of this diversity of practice was known of and approved by the Prophet himself. Most differences arise because of different interpretations of the Islamic legal sources by the different schools of law in Sunni Islam, and by different legal traditions within Shia Islam. 
In the case of ritual worship, these differences are generally minor and should rarely cause dispute. Differences also occur due to optional articles of prayer procedure, for example, which verses of the Quran to recite. Topic: <laughs> Specific differences. Common differences, which may vary between schools and gender, include Position of legs and feet. Position of hands, including fingers. Place where eyes should focus. The minimum amount of recitation. Loudness of recitation, audible, or moving of lips, or just listening. While there is universal agreement on the principal elements of the prayer, there are differences of opinion on which of those elements are indispensable, versus those which are highly recommended or optional. Shia Muslims, after the end of the prayer, raise their hands three times, reciting Allahu Akbar, whereas Sunnis look at the left and right shoulder saying Taslim. Also, Shias in the second rakat often read, Kanut which for Sunnis is usually done after Salah. Ahmadi Muslims have the same Salah practices as those belonging to the Hanafi Madhab. A 2015 Pew Research Center study found that women are 2% more likely than men to pray on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> Types of prayers Prayers in Islam are classified into categories based on degrees of obligation. One common classification is fard, wajib, sunnah, and nafl. The five daily prayers Muslims are commanded to perform prayers five times a day. These prayers are obligatory on every Muslim who has reached the age of puberty, with the exception being those who are mentally ill, too physically ill for it to be possible, menstruating, or experiencing postnatal bleeding. Those who are sick or otherwise physically unable to offer their prayers in the traditional form are permitted to offer their prayers while sitting or lying, as they are able. <laughs> Times of prayers. The five prayers are each assigned to certain prescribed times all waqt at which they must be performed, unless there is a compelling reason for not being able to perform them on time, the times are measured according to the movement of the sun. They are, between dawn and sunrise fajr, after the sun has passed its zenith zur, when afternoon shadows lengthen asr, just after sunset maghrib, and around nightfall isha. Under some circumstances, ritual worship can be shortened or combined according to prescribed procedures. If a given salah is not performed at the right time, it must be performed later. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Voluntary prayers. Some Muslims offer voluntary prayers immediately before and after the five prescribed prayers. Sunni Muslims classify these prayers as sunnah, while Shia considers them nafil. One schema of the number of rockets for each of the five obligatory prayers as well as the voluntary prayers before and after are listed below. Once again there are minor differences between schools. Many Sunni Muslims also perform two rockets nafl voluntary after the Zuhr and Maghrib prayers. During the Aisha prayer, they perform the two rockets nafl after the two sunnat muakkadah and after the witr prayer. Table notes. Topic: <inaudible> Fard Salah. The Fard Salah is all of the compulsory Muslim prayers, the five daily prayers, as well as the Friday prayer, Salat al and the Eid prayers, Eid prayers. Non-performance of any of these prayers renders one a non-Muslim according to the stricter Hanbali madhab of Sunni Islam, while the other Sunni madhabs consider doing so a major sin. However, all four madhabs agree by consensus that denial of the compulsory status of these prayers invalidates the faith of those who do so, rendering them non-Muslim. Fard prayers as with all fard actions are further classed as fard al ain obligation of the self and fard al kifaya obligation of sufficiency Fard al ain are actions considered obligatory on individuals for which the individual will be held to account if the actions are neglected 
Fard al Kifaya are actions considered obligatory on the Muslim community at large, so that if some people within the community carry it out, no Muslim is considered blameworthy, but if no one carries it out, all incur a collective punishment. Men are required to perform the Fard Salat in congregation behind an Imam when they are able. According to most Islamic scholars, performing prayers in congregation is mustahab recommended for men, when they are able, but is neither required nor forbidden for women. Jumu'ah Salat al-Jumu'ah is a congregational prayer on Friday, which replaces the Zur prayer. It is compulsory upon men to perform it in the congregation, while women may perform it so or may perform Zur Salat instead. Salat al-Jumu'ah consists of a sermon given by the speaker after which two rockets are performed. There is no Salat al-Jumu'ah without a kutbah. Kutba is supposed to be carefully listened as it replaces sawab of two rockets. Topic: <inaudible> Wajib Salat. Wajib as Salat are compulsory, non-performance of which renders one a sinner. However, the evidence of the obligation is open to interpretation, with some of the madhab saying it is obligatory while others are saying it is optional. To deny that a fard salah is obligatory is an act of disbelief while denying the obligation of a wajib salat is not disbelief. Some believe that as the five prayers are obligatory, it automatically renders all other prayers optional. <laughs> <laughs> Sunnah salah Sunnah salah are optional and were additional voluntary prayers performed by Muhammad. They are of two types. The sunnah muakkada, those practiced on a regular basis, which if abandoned cause the abandoner to be regarded as sinful by the Hanafi school and the sunnah ger muakkada, those practiced on a semi-regular practice by Muhammad about which all are agreed that their abandonment doesn't render one sinful. Certain sunnah prayers have prescribed waqwarders associated with them. Those ordained for before each of the fard prayers must be performed between the first call to prayer and the second call which signifies the start of the fard prayer. Those sunnah ordained for after the fard prayers can be performed any time between the end of the fard prayers and the end of the current prayers waqt. Any amount of extra rockets may be offered, but most madhib prescribe a certain number of rockets for each sunnah salah. NAFL Salah NAFL Salah supererogatory prayers are voluntary, and one may offer as many as he or she likes almost any time. There are many specific conditions or situations when one may wish to offer NAFL prayers. They cannot be offered at sunrise, true noon, or sunset. The prohibition against Salah at these times is to prevent the practice of sun worship. Topic: Salat al Witr. Witr is performed after the Salah of Isha, dusk. Some Muslims consider Witr wajib, while others consider it optional. It may contain an odd number of rockets from one to eleven, according to the different schools of jurisprudence. However, Witr is most commonly offered with three rockets, to end prayers for the night after Isha. The odd numbered rockets must have the niyyah of wajib ul layl, which is mandatory to close one's salah for that day. Shias offer this as a one rakat salah at the end of Salat al layl, the night prayer, which is an optional prayer according to some Shia scholars, and a wajib obligatory prayer according to others. This is to be prayed any time after Isha, up until Fajr. The best time to pray it is the last third of the night the night being divided into three, between Maghrib and Fajr of that night. It is considered highly meritorious by all Shia Muslims, and is said to bring numerous benefits to the believer, mainly gaining proximity to Allah. 
There are various methods of salatal lail's performance, including shorter and longer versions. In the longer version, the believer must perform eight nawafil salah, in sets of two rockets each, then they must pray a two rocket salah called salatal shafa. This is to include surah naz after surah fatiha in the first rakat and surah falak after surah fatiha in the second rakat, and unusually no kunit a dua recited before going into ruku of the second rakat of most prayers performed by Shias. It is after this that the believer performs Salatul Witr, its long method being, starting with Takbiratul Aram, then Surah Fatiha, then Surah Ikhlas, then Surah Falak, then Surah Nas, then the hands are raised to recite Kunit, upon which the believer can recite any dua, however there are many recommended duas for this purpose. Within Kunit, the believer must pray for the forgiveness of forty believers, then further prayers are read where the believer asks for forgiveness for himself a certain number of times using specified phrases and amounts of time to repeat those phrases. The believer then completes the Salah in the usual way, by completing his Kunit, reciting Takbir whilst raising his hands, going into Ruku and reciting the usual phrase for that, then returning upright and reciting Takbir whilst doing so and upon being upright recites Sami Allahu Liman Hamida Verily Allah has heard the one who has praised him thereupon the believer recites Takbir whilst raising his hands and goes into Sajda. He recites the proscribed phrase in Sajda rises, recites Takbir whilst rising and then again whilst returning to Sajda, then rises with Takbir again and recites Tashahud and Salam, thus ending this prayer. It is then optional to recite certain other duas and dhikr remembrance of Allah through certain phrases and some of his names being repeated. It is then recommended to perform Sajda Ash Shukr prostration of thanks and to then recite Ayatul Kursi verse of the throne and then perform another Sajda Ash Shukr. Topic <inaudible> Eid. Eid Salah is performed on the morning of Eid Al-Fitr and Eid Al-Adha. The Eid prayer is most likely an individual obligation fard al and niyyah for both Eid Salah is made as wajib, though some Islamic scholars argue it is only a collective of the obligation fard al It consists of two rockets, with seven or three for the followers Imam Hanafi takbirs offered before the start of the first rakat and five or three for the followers of Imam Hanafi before the second. After the Salah is completed, a sermon is offered. However, the kutbah is not an integral part of the Eid Salah. The Eid Salah must be offered between sunrise and true noon i.e. between the time periods for Fajr and Zuhr. Istikhara Salat al-Istikhara is a prayer performed when a Muslim needs guidance on a particular matter, such as whether they should marry a certain person. To perform this salah one should pray a normal two rockets salah to completion. After completion one should say a dua called the istikara dua. The intention for the salah should be in one's heart to pray two rockets of salah followed by istikara. The salah can be performed at any of the times where salah is not forbidden. The salah must be performed in the Arabic language. Topic QADA In certain circumstances one may be unable to perform one's prayer within the prescribed time period In this case, the prayer must be performed as soon as one can do so. Several ahadith narrate that Muhammad stated that permissible reasons to perform qada salah are forgetfulness and accidentally sleeping through the prescribed time. However, knowingly sleeping through the prescribed time for salah is deemed impermissible. Khazar and Jam Bain is When traveling over long distances, one may shorten some prayers, a practice known as Khazar. Furthermore, several prayer times may be joined, which is referred to as Jam Bain as Salatine. Khazar involves shortening the obligatory components of the Zur, Asr, and Isha prayers to two rockets. Jam Bain as Salatine combines the Zur and Asr prayers into one prayer offered between noon and sunset, and the Maghrib and Isha prayers into one between sunset and Fajr. 
neither Khazar nor Jam Bain is Salatine can be applied to the Fajr prayer. There is no reference to Khazar during travel within the Quran itself. The Quran allows for Khazar when there is fear of attack, but does not forbid it for travel in non hostile circumstances. <laughs> Sajda of forgetfulness During the ritual salat prayer, if a person forgets to do one of the actions of prayer he can make up for certain actions by performing two sujud at the end of the prayer. This can only be done if specific types of actions are forgotten by the person praying. Tahiyatul <tahiyatul> masjid. Upon entering the mosque, Tahiyatul Masjid may be performed, this is to pay respects to the mosque. Every Muslim entering the mosque is encouraged to perform these two rockets. <laughs> <laughs> Prayer in congregation Prayer in congregation is considered to have more social and spiritual benefit than praying by oneself. When praying in congregation, the people stand in straight parallel rows behind one person who conduct the prayer, called imam, and face the qibla. The imam is usually chosen to be a scholar or the one who has the best knowledge of the Quran, preferably someone who has memorized it a hafiz. In the first row behind the imam, if available, would be another hafiz to correct the imam in case a mistake is made during the performance of the salah. The prayer is performed as normal, with the congregation following the actions and movements of the imam as he performs the salah. <inaudible> <inaudible> Standing arrangement For two people of the same sex, the imam would stand on the left, and the other person is on the right. For more than two people, the imam stands one row ahead of the rest. When the worshippers consist of men and women combined, a man is chosen as the imam. In this situation, women are typically forbidden from performing this role. This point, though unanimously agreed on by the major schools of Islam, is disputed by some groups, based partly on a hadith whose interpretation is controversial. When the congregation consists entirely of women and prepubescent children, one woman is chosen as imam. When men, women, and children are praying, the children's rows are usually between the men's and women's rows, with the men at the front and women at the back. Another configuration is where the men's and women's rows are side by side, separated by a curtain or other barrier, with the primary intention being for there to be no direct line of sight between male and female worshippers, following a Quranic injunction toward men and women each lowering their gazes Quran Conducting The prayer commences with the Imam saying, Allahu Akbar, out loud. For the five daily prayers, the Imam would read the Surah Fatiha and the following section of the Quran out loud only for the first two rockets of Fajr, Maghrib, and Isha. To move between positions, the Imam would say, Allahu Akbar. Out loud, such as when going to the bowing position, except when standing up again from the bowing position, when the Imam would say, Samiallahu Liman Hamida, out loud. The prayer is concluded with the Imam saying the Taslim out loud. A worshipper who has joined a congregation prayer late after missing rockets is called a masbuk. The masbuk would participate with the rest of the group in prayer, however, when the taslim is said at the end, he or she would not say the taslim but would instead stand up and continue for the number of rockets missed. If he joined after the bowing stage of a rakat, then he or she would have considered having missed that rakat. See also Al Ghafr Al Afuw Dua Sabr Islamic term Tazba Asana equals equals notes <laughs>